All right, so we have a Thursday night football battle between two garbage teams. We had the Giants taking on the Eagles, battle of the NFC least. Nobody cares who wins this game. Both these teams are trash. But somebody had to win it, and we saw how it went down. And I'm pretty sure most of us expected this outcome. The Eagles get the 22-21 victory over the Giants, and they advance to 2-4-1 on the season. Meanwhile, the Giants fall to 1-6, and, and they'll fall to fourth place in the division, pending what happens with the Washington football team on Sunday against the Cowboys. We'll see how that goes. But right now, the Giants are last in the division. Anyway, I'm not really surprised to see the Eagles winning this game because the Eagles, for some reason, own the Giants. I do not know what it is about the Eagles. But as bad as they are in years, they always find a way to beat the Giants. I don't know why the Giants can't beat the Eagles, but they somehow find a way to lose to the Eagles. It makes no sense. Even if they have a lead in the fourth quarter, they can't hold it. And somehow the Eagles get back in the game, take the lead, and then, boom, they win the game. The Eagles own the Giants, and I don't know why. It's, it's weird. It seems like the Eagles are the Giants' kryptonite. Even if the Giants are having a good season and the, easy, if the Eagles are having a bad season, the Eagles will still find a way to beat them. I don't know why. Anyway, let's get in on this game. Carson Wentz. He came out here and put up his best performance of the season. He threw for 359 passing yards, two passing touchdowns. He had a terrible interception. Threw it down the field in the end zone. It looked like he was trying to throw it out of bounds because he was getting pressure. and He was just trying to throw it away. But the defender made a great play on, play on it. In the end zone, got both feet down, and it became a pick. So it was a terrible turnover on him. But it looked like he was trying to get out of bounds. So it is what it is. So he throws two touchdown passes, throws a pick, and he also rushes one in for the touchdown. So two touchdown passes, one rushing touchdown, three total touchdowns for him, 359 passing yards. And he came up clutch in the fourth quarter. It started with that 77-yard bomb he threw to Hightower. I don't know how the Giants defense allows that to happen in the fourth quarter when you've been containing him for much of the game. This man, you're, the, the Eagles are down by 11. And Carson Wentz just unloads a bomb to Hightower for 77 yards, and it just sparks them. And that helps them get the touchdown. Then they get the ball back with two minutes left to go in the game. And boom, Carson Wentz leads them down the field, comes up clutch, and gets the touchdown to Boston Scott to give them the 22-21 lead, which ultimately ended up being the game-winning touchdown for the Eagles. So, Carson Wentz did his thing today, man. He did his thing. As for the Eagles' defense, they weren't great, but they did what they needed to do to win the game. They picked off Daniel Jones, even though that pick wasn't his fault. It was tipped in the air because Evan Ingram is trash. I understand your frustration, Giants fans. But that pick happened. And then to end the game, they strip sack Daniel Jones, picked the ball up, and that sealed the victory for the Eagles. So the defense wasn't playing spectacularly because they gave up a bunch of plays. First of all, they gave up a big touchdown to Golden Tate. I don't know how Golden Tate got separation or how he broke that tackle. When I looked at it, it seemed like the defender was actually going for the ball instead of making the tackle. Moron. But it is what it is. He, Golden Tate breaks out of that tackle, gets in the end zone, and they get a touchdown. And then another big play for the Giants is that 80-yard touchdown run by Daniel Jones. Nobody in sight. They completely fell for it. He has empty space all the way to the end zone. And sadly, Daniel Jones, he just trips up on air. I don't know what happened. Maybe the ghost got him. Maybe he tripped up on the turf. I don't know how he, he just tripped. He just he just messed that up. That should have been a touchdown. That's an 80-yard run that should have resulted in a touchdown. It should have been a 90-yard run for the touchdown. This dude had open space, and no defender was around him for 10 whole yards. Nobody was going to catch him. But he just tripped up on himself. And he fell down. Luckily for them, they still end up getting the touchdown and they increase their lead. So good on the Giants for that. But sadly, it was not enough. Defense of the Eagles managed to hold on. So the offense did great with Carson Wentz. Came up clutch. Defense did what they needed to do to win the game. Now, let's move on to the Giants. Defensively, you guys collapsed in the fourth quarter. I mean, you were holding this Eagles team to 10 points. You were stopping Carson Wentz. They couldn't get anything going. Y'all picked them off. Y'all were doing so well. Then in the fourth quarter, with the game slowly going down, y'all collapsed. I do not know how this Giants defense gave up a 77-yard play to Hightower. And it looked like he was covered, too. How do you give up that play? I don't know. But that play sparked the Eagles offense. And I looked at that, and once I saw them get that touchdown, I was like, if the Giants don't seal the deal and the Eagles get the ball back, they're going to win this game. And that's exactly what happened because this Giants defense got shook by that play. They got shook by that entire drive, and it ended up costing them the game. 
So Giants defense played well for most of this game. But then they just collapsed in the fourth quarter. They just folded on the final two drives for the Eagles. I don't know what happened with them. They folded. And it was a it was a shame. It was a real shame to see the Giants defense fold like that when they had such a lead and they probably should have won this game. Moving on to the offense. Daniel Jones. He had two touchdown passes today. He also had a pick. Once again, that was not his fault because Evan Ingram is garbage. And I finally understand why Giants fans do not like this guy. This guy, they, they wish he could be faded out of the offense. Can you believe this? Eagles go on that drive. They get that 77-yard play. They end up getting the touchdown. Game's tight. Daniel Jones is moving the ball down the field, killing the clock. Third down. All they need to do is pick up the first down. They can run the clock. Eagles may get some time left on the clock, but there's no way it's going to be enough to get down the field and score a touchdown. And besides, even if with that case, the Giants can still possibly, I don't know, get a field goal or do something about that. Can you believe what happened, man? Third down. Daniel Jones throws a perfect ball, an absolute dime, a perfect pass to Evan Ingram. It hits his hands and he doesn't make the catch. He drops a perfectly thrown ball by Daniel Jones that would have sealed the game for the Giants. And you're wondering why Giants fans do not like this guy. I mean, dude's just trash. You cause the interception and then you drop another pass that would have helped steal the, seal the game for the Giants? Are you kidding me, dude? <sighs> Evan Ingram's a problem. I see why Giants fans don't like this dude. But yeah, other than Evan Ingram's trash self, um, the Giants offense was not really spectacular. Golden Tate got his touchdown. Sterling Shepard, who was activated for this game, he's been gone the last couple weeks with some his own issues and injuries and stuff like that. But he came back, played today, got a touchdown. So good on him. He played nice. But other than that, offense wasn't really doing much. It was a pretty much Daniel Jones taking control and playing well until the end where he fumbled the ball. But he was playing well, and they should have won the game. But Evan Ingram can't catch the football, so they gave the Eagles an opportunity, and Carson Wentz took advantage. So that's just how it goes. <sighs> anyway, good on Carson Wentz. Came up clutch when he needed to. Got them the touchdown that took the lead. Well done. Eagles take this win. Giants choke in the fourth quarter. And it is what it is. That's all I got to say. And I'm out of here, man. Peace.